So let's move this down to the correct height. And I'm going to, what you usually would do if there is a way, hypothetically if there was, this was open and then there was another entrance back here, um, I would also make another trigger on this side. So hypothetically if they came this way first and skip, and skip this uh, and they bought another way around it, um, they could buy it from the back hypothetically, but they're not for now. So what I'm going to be doing is click on this, press an N, and it's going to say trigger use up here. And let's just put this in. It's very easy. Target name, we're going to put as Zombie Debris. I, you could put anything you want, but just for examples, let's put this. Um, actually, you may not be able to put anything you want, so I shouldn't say that. <laughs> and for Zombie Cost, we're going to put, uh, just for testing, 500. Um, and target, I believe we called it fridge. And I'm hoping I spelled it right. And as you may have may not saw, I'm guessing you didn't. <laughs> when um, I press enter to make that fridge the target, this fridge and this link to each other. So yeah. <laughs> so basically these are now kind of put together in a way. And you'll see it kind of here. It looks really different. Um, what I'm confused about is why that is not. So when you make a model, I still got to figure out why it does this. Oh, for some reason, it's really hard to select a prefab or model after you. Um, wow, this is not making me happy. I want to start swearing right now, but I'm not going to. Okay. Let's see. Why is that not working? Scrimpling 2. Oh, that's why it's not working, y'all. I didn't put it in this, or maybe it didn't go through correctly. And half that is 1. Now, as you saw, it now has this going to this. That is perfect. Okay. Lastly, for the zombie map, again, you could do any model you want, well, mostly any model you want. You'll find out why. Um, and. Basically, the last thing we're going to do is have the buyable guns on the wall. Now, if you look at this tutorial, you'll see that it only has a, a few. Um, it's more of the German guns and a few American guns. Not really any Russian guns, because, I mean, if you had a PPSH, you're not going to lose. I mean, it's impossible. <laughs> but um, I don't want to say that, because you will after a while. But just for a tip... There is a downloadable file, I believe, in the downloads and uh, tools of uh, Call of Duty World of War downloads on customcd.com. Um, I believe there is a pack of chalks that I think I don't know the name. I really love to credit him because it was a great thing that he did. But um, he basically included all the chalks. He, he drew it up, and I think somebody coded it for him. I don't. I don't know. Sorry. I'm dead tired. <laughs> okay, I just had so many requests for this tutorial. Like, you wouldn't believe... If I said the number, you'd just think I'm trying to brag or something. That's how crazy it was. For requests for a zombie tutorial, or zombie basic mapping. Even though the other one is just about the same. <laughs> okay, moving on. Very sorry. Moving on. Um, buyable weapons on the wall. Now, let's go back to this tutorial, because I do forget in a way. I'm sorry. Buyable gun. Step 7. Now let's see, okay, what I'm going to first do, I just have to remember every once in a while, is make something on the wall, just like this, um, let's make it lined up, um, make it lower, you usually want to make it lower than a person's head, or at the person's head, you never want to make it huge. Now, textures, I'm going to go to locale, tools, I'll show you why. You want to have the no ca no draw decal texture. What that makes what it basically happens if I had the chalk texture, which most people do, it'll basically make that square in the wall. When you look at it in game, it'll make it invisible. You'll be like, why is that happening? This is for decals, which you will on the front face only have the decal. So I'm going to push this out for now, and I'm going to press Control and Shift just to select the front face, and let's go down to locale let's change it to decal now i do have a lot of cod4 textures in here so you will see that every once in a while um 
for now see I do have all the other textures um, that you guys regularly don't have and that's because I uh, use that pack that that guy made I really want to go credit him right now because really good for making that and let's see I just want to use something really basic I'm trying to find the Thompson I love that gun but I want to show you PPSH because I'll be able to kill with that. <laughs> okay, double barrel shotgun, that works. Now, one thing I do hate, and I don't want to blame it on Treyarch, I don't really want to blame it on anybody, but they did make it so when you put textures as of that on, as you'll see, the shotgun is just a little too big. And when I say just a little, I mean just a little. <laughs> Holy crap. It's even bigger than normal. That's, I mean, if you don't think that's too big, you're even more messed up than me at the moment. Okay, moving on. This is it, and I don't even want to mess with it. I'm gonna, pre I'm just gonna select the front face. I'm gonna press S, and usually I believe is what I do is put it to 10. I believe it usually looks fine at that. Um, some people do different. Now let me resize it now that I fixed it. Oh, I've at least fixed it good enough. Um, it could probably look a lot better. I just want to show you guys basically how to do this. And sorry about that. I'm getting messaged. Uh, well, at least you guys probably know who that is. That's the community manager of Triarch. Good guy. Um, 1.2 patch. I hope will be coming out soon. And you guys will be a lot more happy with Triarch. Okay, moving on. This is the shotgun, and let's put it down a little. I don't want it that high. Okay, let's save. Now, um, every once in a while, I, I say I, I haven't been doing it, I'm sorry, but uh, every two, three minutes I usually save. I really wonder how long I've been doing this tutorial. Sorry for, for the long, but I'm telling you, just getting a map to just the basic stage is just a pain, and... When you want to go into detailing wise, it is just crazily long and it gets so annoying. So I'm just saying, mapping is the easiest thing you could do when it comes to game development, game development. but good mapping is not. And you, you will need to at least make maybe 50, 60 maps before you get to that point. Because every time you make a new map, you learn something. You learn from your mistakes and you got to do that to get better and better. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I'm going to be now doing is making a trigger use in front of it. What that'll do is um, make it so you can buy it. And obviously, you want to buy it. It's a good idea. Good thing they put it in the game so you could do that. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let me go back to here. Target name. Um, I usually put in a lot more stuff than this. He's just putting in the basic stuff that you have to do, which is fine. Um, and I, because I don't have it down by heart, I usually look at my zombie file, which I did have on my old computer. It basically had advanced config of everything. Um, do not have it anymore because I did reformat that. So I'm not happy about that, but everything moves on. Name of the file name. So that basically means this. What is this going to be? This is a double build shotgun. Um, I do not have the saw grip on it. Um, didn't even try putting that on or think about it. Um, there you go. Double barrel. Just basic crap. Now, lastly, what 